What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic mail video. Probably the best mail video we've ever had on this channel. So before we get into it, the giveaway for this video is a token, DD Guide from Shadow of Infinity, not Shadows, Shadow, and Scrap Breaker Secret Rare from Storm of Ragnarok. We actually pulled this on the channel. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what you guys think about this mail. That's it. Put in a thought. What do you think about it? Is it awesome? Does it suck? You know, whatever you want to say. Whew, let's just go ahead and open it. I'm pretty excited. Whew, this is big time, guys. Here we go. It is upside down because I don't want to show the address of the seller. Should be fine. It was also in my P.O. box, and they put it in a very tiny box because whenever... This is a pro tip, by the way, guys. If you, ha if you have a P.O. box or... Well, if you have one, you know, but if you're considering getting a P.O. box, I was considering getting one for months. And I didn't because I was like, well, the stuff I order is not going to fit in my P.O. box. And I don't want to pay for the huge one. You don't actually have to pay for the huge one. You can pay for the smallest P.O. box and they will just put it into these extra boxes. They're like on the side and they put a key in your box and you just go get it. So just pay for the smallest box and then you will be able to get your mail normally. Oh my gosh. So just pay for the smallest box and you'll be able to get all your mail like just regularly. So just, I mean, it's like a pro tip. I don't know why anybody pays for a big box, to be honest. I guess they don't want the hassle of going to pick it up, but it just saves a lot of money because it was like, I think like 30 bucks for half a year or maybe it was a quarter of a year. I can't remember for the smallest box. And then the big one's like 120 bucks or something crazy like that. All right. Now that you got your PO box tip, here we go. Inside, what do we have? We need the music. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get in here. Alright, we've got a lot. Okay, this is not going to work very well. Maybe if I pick this up. Just to make sure we're here. Yeah. Okay, this will work. Okay, let's get all this out of the way. Ah, oh, packing peanuts. I love packing peanuts. That's a joke. I don't really... Does anybody love packing peanuts? That's the question. They are very useful for shipping. But once you actually open it, it's a real pain. Okay, here we go. Let's try not to get them everywhere. That's the key. Okay, brush them off. They just stick to everything. Alright. Oh. Might cut this part out. Who knows? Okay, let's get this box out of the way. There's that. Alright. Should be inside here where the sun is. Alright, where should we cut this? Let's cut it along the top. You always want to be careful when you're cutting. You don't want to cut anything inside the package, obviously. So you want to kind of cut away from the package. Kind of like using a knife. You want to cut away from yourself. Alright. Here we go. Next layer down. We, I think we can cut along this way pretty safely. There's nothing too crazy here. Put your guesses in the comments. Actually, it's probably in the thumbnail. Let's be honest. You don't have to guess. You guys know what it is. Okay. Wow. Talk about packaging. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. The moment of truth. One of the most epic items you can possibly own in Yu-Gi-Oh!, here we go. You guys see it right there. Let's get these out of the way. We have a DDS Game Boy Advanced game. You're know, like, what is what does that mean? How is that how is that valuable? Why does that matter? We can discuss that in a second. Let me get this out real quick. Alright. Why is this so valuable? Okay, wait, let me fix let me fix the camera real quick. Alright, so what? You have a Game Boy Advance game. Who cares? Okay, it's sealed. Okay, oh, that usually means they're worth a little bit more. If you guys look this game up on eBay, I think it's worth like $5 to $10 if it's not sealed. So you're like, okay, what's the deal here? Why would this Game Boy game be worth thousands of dollars why would it be worth that 
three limited edition official game cards inside. Do you guys know what Dark Duel Stories is? Do you know what official game cards are inside? There are two different versions of this game. There is the first version, which contained Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and Exodia Head. Then there's the second version, which contained Siriaru, or whatever he's called, and then a couple other promos. I think Salamandra. What's the other one? Let me know in the comments if you guys know. So that version's a lot less. So you, so which one? Which version could this be, guys? Which version could this be? Oh, the Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, and Exodia. Oh my goodness! Those three cards being inside. Brings this game from being worth five to ten dollars to being worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Over six thousand dollars for this game. It's gonna be crazy when we open it. Yes, we are gonna open it, guys. We're gonna open it up, get those three cards out, send them in to be graded. Hopefully, they don't have any specs on them or off centered. You know, it's possible, but we're gonna try it anyway. This will are you guys ready for this? Dark Duel Stories will be opened today we're gonna see the condition of the cards I'm gonna submit them to get graded we're gonna we're gonna try and guess what condition the cards are and then I'll have the return in the same video it's gonna be pretty cool so here we go we're gonna bust this thing open let's take one last look at it it looks pretty nice it's got that dark magician blue eyes and exodia in it supposedly I guess we'll find out all right What's the best way to open a game, a sealed Game Boy game? I don't know. Without destroying it. Maybe cut it down here. I don't know. This is going to hurt, guys. Here we go. Very expensive game. Alright, we have cut the seal. Cut it a little bit more. Alright. That should be good enough, I think. Here we go. We have now made this a $5 Game Boy game. Here we go. We are recording. All right, good. I'm always worried after that debacle. Now we have to worry about the promos. Were they in good shape? The game was in, itself was in good shape, so I'm hoping that that means the promos are still in good shape. Here we go. This is scary. <laughs> you know you know exactly what cards you're getting. It's still super scary. All right, where do you open this thing up here? I haven't opened up a, a Game Boy Advance new game in, you know, 15, 20 years. Here we go. Where are the cards? All right, so they should be in here. Important. Here you go. First of all, you got Dark Duel Stories, a very um, cool but not very expensive game. In its own right. All right. All right. Here we go. Where are the pro? Okay, they're in there. Maybe. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, no. There has to be promos in here, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's no promos. There's no promos. Oh, my gosh. There are no promos. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's no promos in here. How does that even happen? Where are they? I don't even, I don't understand. Was that like, was it resealed? It couldn't have been resealed, could it? Oh, no promos in the game. Oh my gosh. 
아. 어... Well. We have the game. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That is not good. All right. 